Item number SCP ES 156. Object class Euclid. Update Keter. Special containment procedures. Health organizations will give priority to treating wounds caused by SCP ES 156 and SCP ES 156 1 instances. The Foundation's Disinformation Agency will proceed to censor any incident related with the formation of SCP-ES-1561 and SCP-ES-1562, qualifying it as a hoax and false news in the main media. NPF-06, Green Wind, will be in charge of reducing the number of SCP-ES-156 and SCP-ES-1561 instances to an environmentally acceptable degree. Update. Following incident, ES-156, other methods have been studied to decrease the population of SCP-ES-156 and SCP-ES-156-1 instances, such as sterilization among other indirect containment methods. Description SCP-ES-156 is a designation of specimens of the genus Columba with the ability to transmit tissues from a living human subject through pecking into specimens of impiquous terrestris if wounds are not treated. Note, stitches applying alcohol to the wound within six hours. After this period, the impiquous terrestrial specimens will leave the subject's body, causing serious damage and in more severe cases, death. Subsequently, they will merge, thereby becoming an SCP-ES-156-1 instance. SCP-ES-156-1 instances are similar to SCP-ES-156 instances, except for the marked hostile behavior. Their proliferation in population centers greater than 10,000 inhabitants, and in that the interior is entirely composed of specimens from the impesquous terrestrial species. When the subject dies, the body is progressively transmuted into specimens of impiquous terrestrial. Subsequently, they will form an SCP ES 156 2 instance in a natural enclosure. Note, these include forests, parks, and green spaces, at least one kilometer away from the body. SCP ES 156 2 instances are identical superficially to non-anomalous human, with its interior composed of specimens of Nemiquis terrestris. The behavior of SCP-ES-1562 instances is almost always peaceful. Periodically, SCP-ES-1562 instances will generate and eject specimens of Nemiquis terrestris. These specimens will form an SCP-ES-1561 instance. When questioned about their status, SCP-ES-1562 instances will repeatedly claim to be working for a good cause and achieving lasting peace. Incident ES-136 On the 10th of April, 2010, after routine removal of SCP-ES-156 and SCP-ES-156-1 instances by MTF-06, Green Wind, SCP-ES-156-2 instances began generating ambiguous terrestrial with increased frequency for two weeks. At the conclusion of the incident, the Foundation's Disinformation Bureau executed standard disinformation protocols. After interviewing SCP-ES-1562 instances, they stated that they have received a declaration of war and will replace the fallen and elderly and will defend the peace whatever it takes. After this incident, a greater proliferation of SCP-ES-1561 instances was detected in population centers and a drop in the birth rate of SCP-ES-1526 instances due to old age and mortality. Due to this incident, the reclassification to Kedah has been approved.